Talisman Prologue, the next quest. Working on the elf here. Uh, elf quest two is robbing hoods. Bandits are moving in on your territory and are working with raiders to steal gold from unsuspecting travelers. Rid the land of bandits and then retrieve the gold from the raiders' hideout, the oasis. Gold, clear all woods and forest spaces of bandits, then collect the gold from the oasis. Okay, so let's get started here. Kill all the bandits. So we're going to have bandits one, two, three, and then there's a wood space up here. And this is the oasis. So if we, um, uh, if they take our gold, my gold, that's where I'm going to get that back from. So I'm going to have to work on getting that strength up a little bit because they have strength of four. Uh, so let's get going here. What I would like is to get maybe one more gold so I can go, uh, one or two, so I can buy a sword or an axe. An imp. Roll one die to determine where he teleports you. To the forest. Yep, that'll work. Sends me right back where I came from. Okay, so I do not need to roll the die in the forest because I'm an elf. Uh, so I am not going to roll. Okay, three. Let's go back to the field again. An ape, strength of three. Here we go. Good roll. Yes. That's how it's done. Okay, let's see. Three now. Let's go back. Let's go over here. Draw a card. There's the witch. It's going to stay here for the rest of the game. If you land here, you roll the die. She says gain one strength. All right. That's the easy way to do it. So now I'm on even par with the bandits. Um, let's go to, uh, you know what, I'm going to go here and visit the mystic. Let's see what she can do for us. Ugh, become evil. Uh, do we want to become evil? It really doesn't matter. Sure. Okay, one. Let's go here. Pestilence has befouled the region. You must lose one life. Okay. Four. Now, to be honest, I really would like to gain, get one more bonus. I mean, one more uh, in strength. Okay, I've got the maiden follower. She had two to my craft. Okay, should we take on the first? Let's go ahead and take it on. See what happens. Bandit's, uh, bandit is in the area, and we're gonna fight him. I'm not gonna run. So let's see what I get. A five. That's pretty good. He gets a four. All right, that's one down. Cool. Now I can even turn in four plus three is seven. And that gives me one strength. Oh, look at that. I forgot I don't need to roll the die uh, to go from woods to woods as the elf. Let's go ahead and fight this one. Oh, not good. I'm going to have to re-roll. Get to six. I got a six. Let's go ahead and reroll that. No matter what I get, I'm gonna beat it. Plus, it was a one again. <clears throat> okay, number two down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and travel straight here. We're on a roll. Let's make it three for three. Roll the die. I get a nine. He gets a five. All right, one, two, three. I like it. Okay, so now we need to get to the, to the middle region to get this guy. Um, so I'm going to need an axe to cross. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Um, uh, no, let's go ahead and go to the woods. Clairvoyant. When you take the clairvoyant, uh, you always have at least one fate point. So that's a good card to have. Uh, let's just bounce, bounce around in these woods. A giant strength of six. Okay. It's going to be interesting. Here we go. Oh, that's good. That's great. Okay, let's go ahead and turn in. Uh, let's see. What do I have here? I've got 14. That'll get me two points. Looking really good now. Um, <laughs> a couple more and I'll be able to just fight the sentinel. 
I won't have to worry about making a raft to cross the river. If you're evil, do not lose a life in the chapel. If you're good, you do not lose a life in the graveyard. You may choose to automatically destroy any spirits. Okay. Um, but, but if I do that, I won't be able to keep their uh, keep them as trophies. Let's go ahead and take that. I like it. Let's go back to these woods. Ah, oh, there's a raft. And I'm going to go ahead and use the raft to float across. Now, in this particular place, you draw three cards. One two, three. Interesting. You find a fabled book of spells. You gain your full complement of spells. So I can use up, I can hold up the three at the, well, let's see what they give me first. Okay. So I get three spells. One, divination. Cast at the start of your turn. Take a look at the top five cards. Okay. Mesmerism. Take one follower of your choice from the board. Or three healing. You will be healed up to your original life back. Now, the siren song can be heard throughout the region. You must miss a turn. That leaves the Holy Grail. Is that what that is? Yep, no evil character may have it anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and r roll. I'm trying to get over here to this guy now. I'm not going to... You know what? I am going to go here because I can No. I don't want need to do that. Let's just go back one. Maze. Wherever you land here, if your craft is less than five, you miss a turn. But mine is six, so I'm good. Okay. Six. Ah, oh, that worked out perfect. Okay. I'm not going to bribe the bandit. I'm going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> hey. All the bandits have been defeated. Now collect the gold from the oasis, which is right there. I need a three. I won. Uh, I'm going to re-roll. Try to get three. Okay. So let's see what this is. Okay, I'm going to go here. Draw a card. Princess. You may have up to two lives healed at the castle for free. Or I can turn her in at the castle, which is right there, and get three gold for her. Uh, let's go ahead and go here. This temple is a crazy one. Get a 10. Ooh, gain two fate. I like the temple. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and roll because I'm, I'm trying to get a 2. Ah, that was a waste. Let's go back over here. A dragon. We're, we're a strength of 9. Oh, because of the, place, the one I'm in. Okay, here we go. Oh. Not good at all. Okay, he gets a 13. So for me to even tie him, I would need to get a 6. So I'm not going to waste a fate on that. I'm just going to take the, the life hit. Okay. That's fine. You know what? I've got that healing spell. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my healing spell. Okay, now back up to 4 lives. Alright, get closer. Problem is, when I go into the desert, I'm gonna lose a life because of the desert conditions. Um, I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Does nothing. Six. Oh, that was close. Uh, again, I'm gonna lose a life if I go there. Um, so let's go to the woods. Ooh, someone's crown. Add two to my craft. Come on, three. Roll. Ah, uh, okay. Go to the temple. Five. Enslave. Stay here until you roll a four, five, or six. Okay, that's fine. Four. Um, let's go here. I'm not going to take a warlock quest. So I'll cross that off and get a two. Uh, uh, I'm going to re-roll to get a two. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. There it is. Two gold, two gold. One, two, three. Quest complete. You grab the gold and vow to return it to those it was stolen from. Ah, hence the robbing hood. I get it. Uh, took 24 turns. Earned me three talismans to give me a total of five for the elf. 
Uh, so next time we're going to do Hunted. The third qu elf quest. Huh, elf quest. That was a good series. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.